Hey there, good looking. Are you a woman over 40 looking to lose weight? You might have heard of carb cycling then. Many proponents claim that it will help accelerate fat loss and help you avoid a frustrating fat loss plateaus. In this video, I'm going to discuss what carb cycling is, how it works, and whether or not carb cycling is the right strategy for you. So buckle up and let's get started. Hello there and welcome. Hey, my name is PJ Wren, and if you don't know who the heck I am, I've been a certified personal trainer, fitness instructor, and coach for nearly three decades. And this is where women and a few good men over 40 come to work on living their fittest and their fiercest life. It is super awesome to have you join me today. This is a video and a part of a series that we call Ask. PJ anything. And it is here where my Patreon over 50 fitness and YouTube community can ask me questions regarding health and fitness. So if you have a question, you can hit up the link. We've got it down in the description below, fill out the form and we may feature it in a future episode. All right, let's get started. Becky from Oregon asks, I recently looked at a program promoting carb cycling to get beyond a plateau of fat loss. What do you know about this? I've been exercising with you, that'd be me, <laughs> for over two years. So I am active, but struggling to progress. Hello, Becky. All right, before I get going, I want to get one thing out of the way. I am neither pro-carb cycling nor anti-carb cycling. In fact, I'm like that with any nutrition strategy. What I am, though, is pro-sustainable results. So some of you may have an amazing results with carb cycling and others may not. So let me lay it all out for you so you can determine whether this is a good fit for you. All right, first off, what the heck is carb cycling? Well, it's kind of exactly as the name says. You're gonna cycle your carbohydrates, which is a macronutrient, throughout the week, alternating between high carbohydrate days and low carbohydrate days. Now on your high carbohydrate days, and those are always on your workout days, you're gonna eat more carbs. And then on the lower carbohydrate days, which will be your non-workout days, you're gonna eat fewer carbs. The idea behind carb cycling is that by consuming fewer carbs on some days and more on others, you can manipulate your body's insulin levels, optimize your metabolism, and promote fat loss. Now, it's also important to note here that there is hardly any human research on carb cycling. So please keep that in mind when you hear or read claims about carb cycling. Now, carb cycling is really manipulating calories, which proponents, which is why proponents for it, love it. By regularly mixing in high carb, high calorie days, they claim this will jumpstart your metabolism and keep your body from adapting. And then on your low carb days, these are gonna be your low calorie days, you're going to be in a calorie, calorie deficit, which we all know works really well for fat loss. So carb cycling might be a great fit for you if you don't want to be on a low calorie, low carb nutrition plan 24 seven. That said, this strategy will not work for people unwilling to count their carbs every day and monitor what they eat. I find carb cycling is successful, but it's successful with really highly motivated individuals because this is an advanced nutrition strategy. I also do not recommend this strategy for anyone who has body image issues or a history of eating disorders. It will also have negligible effect if you haven't tried prioritizing lean protein and veggies in your diet, emphasizing whole nutrient dense foods, getting adequate sleep and recovery, learning to eat mindfully, staying active and managing your stress effectively. Those will have a much stronger impact on your body composition and are easy and sustainable practices. Now, if you haven't already tried those practices, I would not recommend carb cycling as your first step to better eating. 
So what is the best way then, if you decide you want to carb cycle, to incorporate carb cycling into your routine? Well, on days with minimal physical activity, you're going to eat mostly protein, veggies, and healthy fats. And then for your carbs, you're going to aim for about 0.5 grams of carbs for every pound of body weight. When you plan on exercising hard on your high carb days, you'll aim for 2 to 2.5 grams of carbs per pound of body weight. Now this is just rough estimates, all right? From there, you're gonna adjust as you go. Thinking of your first month as an experiment, tweaking as you need to. Now carb cycling, there's no doubt, it can be a powerful tool for some for breaking through weight loss plateaus. But it's important to approach it with caution, to start slowly and pay attention to your body. I also recommend that you consult a medical professional before beginning any new dietary regime. And remember, be patient and kind to yourself. You deserve it. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to reading your comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey there, good looking. Are you a woman over 40 looking to lose weight? You might have heard of carb cycling. Many proponents claim that it will help accelerate fat loss, as well as help you avoid any frustrating fat loss plateaus. In this video, I'm going to discuss what carb cycling is, how it works, and whether or not carb cycling is right for you. Stick around, learn more. That's so dumb. Stick around to learn more.